William Henry Gates III, born October 28, 1955, is an American business magnate, author, investor, and philanthropist. He is a co-founder of Microsoft, along with his late childhood friend Paul Allen. 2-3, during his career at Microsoft, Gates held the positions of Chairman, Chief Executive Officer, CEO, President and Chief Software Architect while also being the largest individual shareholder until May 2014. 4. He was a major entrepreneur of the microcomputer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s. Gates was born and raised in Seattle. In 1975, he and Allen founded Microsoft in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It became the world's largest personal computer software company. 5A. Gates led the company as chairman and CEO until stepping down as CEO in January 2000, succeeded by Steve Ballmer, but he remained chairman of the board of directors and became chief software architect. 8. During the late 1990s, he was criticized for his business tactics, which have been considered anti-competitive. This opinion has been upheld by numerous court rulings. 9. In June 2008, Gates transitioned to a part-time role at Microsoft and full-time work at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the private charitable foundation he and his then-wife Melinda established in 2000. 10. He stepped down as chairman of the board of Microsoft in February 2014 and assumed a new post as technology advisor to support the newly appointed CEO Satya Nadea. 11. In March 2020, Gates left his board positions at Microsoft and Berkshire Hathaway to focus on his philanthropic efforts on climate change, global health and development, and education. 12. Since 1987, Gates has been included in the Forbes list of the world's wealthiest people. 1314, from 1995 to 2017. He held the Forbes title of the richest person in the world every year except from 2010 to 2013. 15. In October 2017, he was surpassed by Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos, who had an estimated net worth of 90.6 billion US dollars compared to Gates's net worth of 89.9 billion US dollars at the time. 16. As of February 2023, Gates has an estimated net worth of 113 billion US dollars, making him the fourth richest person in the world. 17. Later in his career and since leaving day-to-day -day operations at Microsoft in 2008, Gates has pursued many business and philanthropic endeavors. He is the founder and chairman of several companies, including Ben, Cascade Investment, Terra Power, BGC3, and Breakthrough Energy. He has given sizable amounts of money to various charitable organizations and scientific research programs through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, reported to be the world's largest private charity. 18. Through the foundation, he led an early 21st century vaccination campaign that significantly contributed to the eradication of the wild polio virus in Africa. 1920. In 2010, Gates and Warren Buffett founded the Giving Pledge, whereby they and other billionaires pledged to give at least half of their wealth to philanthropy. 21. Early Life Bill Gates was born in Seattle, Washington on October 28, 1955. 3. He is the son of William H. Gates Sr. B. 1925-2020, and Mary Maxwell Gates, 1929-1994. 22. His ancestry includes English, German, and Irish slash Scots Irish. 23. His father was a prominent lawyer, and his mother served on the board of directors for First Interstate Bank System and the United Way of America. Gates's maternal grandfather was J.W. Maxwell, a national bank president. Gates has an older sister Christy, Christiane, and a younger sister Libby. He is the fourth of his name in his family but is known as William Gates III or Thray, that is, three, because his father had the two suffix. 2425, the family lived in the Sandpoint area of Seattle in a home that was damaged by a rare tornado when Gates was seven years old. 26. 
Early in his life, Gates observed that his parents wanted him to pursue a law career. 27. When he was young, his family regularly attended a church of the Congregational Christian Churches, a Protestant Reformed denomination. 28. 29. 30. Gates was small for his age and was bullied as a child. 25. The family encouraged competition. One visitor reported that it didn't matter whether it was hearts or pickleball or swimming to the dock, there was always a reward for winning and there was always a penalty for losing. 31. Gates, right, with Paul Allen seated at Teletype Model 33 ASR Terminals in Lakeside School, 1970. At 13, he enrolled in the private Lakeside Prep School, 32-33, where he wrote his first software program. 34. When he was in the 8th grade, the mother's club at the school used proceeds from Lakeside School's rummage sale to buy a teletype model 33 ASR terminal and a block of computer time on a General Electric GE, computer for the students. 35. Gates took an interest in programming the GE system in BASIC, and he was excused from math classes to pursue his interest. He wrote his first computer program on this machine, an implementation of tic-tac-toe that allowed users to play games against the computer. Gates was fascinated by the machine and how it would always execute software code perfectly. 36. After the Mother's Club donation was exhausted, Gates and other students sought time on systems including DEC PDP mini computers. One of these systems was a PDP-10 belonging to Computer Center Corporation, CCC, which banned Gates, Paul Allen, Rick Wyland, and Gates's best friend and first business partner Kent Evans, for the summer after it caught them exploiting bugs in the operating system to obtain free computer time. 3725. The four students formed the Lakeside Programmers Club to make money. 25. At the end of the ban. They offered to find bugs in CCC software in exchange for extra computer time. Rather than using the system remotely via teletype, Gates went to CCC's offices and studied source code for various programs that ran on the system, including Fortran, Lisp, and Machine Language. The arrangement with CCC continued until 1970 when the company went out of business. The following year, a lakeside teacher enlisted Gates and Evans to automate the school's class scheduling system, providing them computer time and royalties in return. The duo worked diligently in order to have the program ready for their senior year. Towards the end of their junior year, Evans was killed in a mountain climbing accident, which Gates has described as one of the saddest days of his life. Gates then turned to Alan who helped him finish the system for Lakeside. 25. At 17, Gates formed a venture with Allen called Trafo Data to make traffic counters based on the Intel 8008 processor. 38. In 1972, he served as a congressional page in the House of Representatives. 3940. He was a National Merit Scholar when he graduated from Lakeside School in 1973. 41. He scored 1,590 out of 1,600 on the Scholastic Aptitude Tests SAT, and enrolled at Harvard College in the autumn of 1973. 42-43, he chose a pre-law major but took mathematics, including Math 55, and graduate-level computer science courses. 44, while at Harvard, he met fellow student Steve Balmer. Gates left Harvard after two years while Balmer stayed and graduated magna cum laude. Years later, Balmer succeeded Gates as Microsoft's CEO and maintained that position from 2000 until his resignation in 2014. 45-46 Gates devised an algorithm for pancake sorting as a solution to one of a series of unsolved problems 47, presented in a combinatorics class by Professor Harry Lewis. His solution held the record as the fastest version for over 30 years, and its successor is faster by only 2%. 4748, his solution was formalized and published in collaboration with Harvard computer scientist Christos Papadimitriou. 49. 
Gates remained in contact with Paul Allen and joined him at Honeywell during the summer of 1974. 50, in 1975, the MITS Altair 8800 was released based on the Intel 8080 CPU, and Gates and Allen saw the opportunity to start their own computer software company. 51, Gates dropped out of Harvard that same year. His parents were supportive of him after seeing how much he wanted to start his own company. 52, he explained his decision to leave Harvard, if things hadn't worked out, I could always go back to school. I was officially on leave. 53. Microsoft Main Articles, History of Microsoft and Microsoft Section History Basic Mitzel Terry 8800 computer with 8 inch, 200 mm, floppy disk system whose first programming language was Microsoft's founding product, Altair Basic. Gates read the January 1975 issue of Popular Electronics which demonstrated the Altair 8800, and he contacted Micro Instrumentation and Telemetry Systems, MITS to inform them that he and others were working on a basic interpreter for the platform. 54. In reality, Gates and Allen did not have an Altair and had not written code for it, they merely wanted to gauge Mitz's interest. Mitz president Ed Roberts agreed to meet them for a demonstration, and over the course of a few weeks they developed an Altair emulator that ran on a mini-computer, and then the basic interpreter. The demonstration was held at Mitz's offices in Albuquerque, New Mexico, it was a success and resulted in a deal with Mitz to distribute the interpreter as Altair Basic. Mitz hired Allen, 55, and Gates took a leave of absence from Harvard to work with him at Mitz in November 1975. Allen named their partnership Microsoft, a combination of microcomputer and software, and their first office was in Albuquerque. The first employee Gates and Allen hired was their high school collaborator Rick Wyland. 55, they dropped the hyphen within a year and officially registered the trade name Microsoft with the Secretary of the State of New Mexico on November 26, 1976. 55, Gates never returned to Harvard to complete his studies. Microsoft's Altair Basic was popular with computer hobbyists, but Gates discovered that a pre-market copy had leaked out and was being widely copied and distributed. In February 1976, he wrote an open letter to hobbyists in the MITS newsletter in which he asserted that more than 90% of the users of Microsoft Altair Basic had not paid Microsoft for it and the Altair hobby market was in danger of eliminating the incentive for any professional developers to produce, distribute, and maintain high-quality software. 56. This letter was unpopular with many computer hobbyists, but Gates persisted in his belief that software developers should be able to demand payment. Microsoft became independent of MITS in late 1976, and it continued to develop programming language software for various systems. 55. The company moved from Albuquerque to Bellevue, Washington on January 1, 1979. 54. Gates said he personally reviewed and often rewrote every line of code that the company produced in its first five years. As the company grew, he transitioned into a manager role, then an executive. 57. Donkey.Baz, is a computer game written in 1981 and included with early versions of the PC-DOS operating system distributed with the original IBM PC. It is a driving game in which the player must avoid hitting donkeys. The game was written by Gates and Neil Kanzen. 5859 IBM Partnership IBM, the leading supplier of computer equipment to commercial enterprises at the time, approached Microsoft in July 1980 concerning software for its upcoming personal computer, the IBM PC, 60, after Bill Gates's mother, Mary Maxwell Gates mentioned Microsoft to John Opel, IBM CEO. 61, IBM first proposed that Microsoft write the basic interpreter. IBM's representatives also mentioned that they needed an operating system, and Gates referred them to Digital Research, DRI, makers of the widely used CP, M operating system. 62, 
IBM's discussions with digital research went poorly, however, and they did not reach a licensing agreement. IBM representative Jack Sams mentioned the licensing difficulties during a subsequent meeting with Gates and asked if Microsoft could provide an operating system. A few weeks later, Gates and Allen proposed using A86 DOS, an operating system similar to CPM, that Tim Patterson of Seattle Computer Products, SCP, had made for hardware similar to the PC. 63 Microsoft made a deal with SCP to be the exclusive licensing agent of 86 DOS, and later the full owner. Microsoft employed Patterson to adapt the operating system for the PC-64, and delivered it to IBM as PC DOS for a one-time fee of $50,000. 65. The contract itself only earned Microsoft a relatively small fee. It was the prestige brought to Microsoft by IBM's adoption of their operating system that would be the origin of Microsoft's transformation from a small business to the leading software company in the world. Gates had not offered to transfer the copyright on the operating system to IBM because he believed that other personal computer makers would clone IBM's PC hardware. 65, they did, making the IBM-compatible PC, running DOS a de facto standard. The sales of MS-DOS, the version of DOS sold to customers other than IBM, made Microsoft a major player in the industry. 66. The press quickly identified Microsoft as being very influential on the IBM PC. PC Magazine asked if Gates was the man behind the machine? 60. Gates oversaw Microsoft's company restructuring on June 25, 1981 which reincorporated the company in Washington state and made Gates the president and chairman of the board, with Paul Allen as vice president and vice chairman. In early 1983, Allen left the company after receiving a Hodgkin lymphoma diagnosis, effectively ending the formal business partnership between Gates and Allen, which had been strained months prior due to a contentious dispute over Microsoft equity. 5467, later in the decade, Gates repaired his relationship with Allen and together the two donated millions to their childhood school Lakeside. 25, they remained friends until Allen's death in October 2018. 68. Windows Microsoft and Gates launched their first retail version of Microsoft Windows on November 20, 1985, in an attempt to fend off competition from Apple's Macintosh GUI which had captivated consumers with its simplicity and ease of use. 69. In August of the following year, the company struck a deal with IBM to develop a separate operating system called OS-2. Although the two companies successfully developed the first version of the new system, the partnership deteriorated due to mounting creative differences. 70. The operating system grew out of DOS in an organic fashion over a decade until Windows 95, which hid the DOS prompt by default. Windows XP, released one year after Gates stepped down as Microsoft CEO, was the first to not be based on DOS. 71, Windows 8.1 was the last version of the OS released before Gates left the chair of the firm to John W. Thompson on February 5, 2014. 72. Management Style Gates delivers a speech at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, January 2008. During Microsoft's early years, Gates was an active software developer, particularly in the company's programming language products, but his primary role in most of the company's history was as a manager and executive. He has not officially been on a development team since working on the TRS-80 Model 173, but he wrote code that shipped with the company's products as late as 1989. 74, Jerry Pornell wrote in 1985 when Gates announced Microsoft Excel, Bill Gates likes the program, not because it's going to make him a lot of money, although I'm sure it will do that, but because it's a neat hack. 75. On June 15, 2006, Gates announced that he would transition out of his role at Microsoft to dedicate more time to philanthropy. 
he gradually divided his responsibilities between two successors when he placed Rayazi in charge of management and Craig Mundy in charge of long-term product strategy. 76. The process took two years to fully transfer his duties to Ozzy and Mundy, and was completed on June 27, 2008. 77. Post-Microsoft Since leaving day-to-day -day operations at Microsoft, Gates has continued his philanthropy and works on other projects. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Gates was the world's highest-earning billionaire in 2013 as his net worth increased by 15.8 billion US dollars to 78.5 billion US dollars. As of January 2014, most of Gates's assets are held in Cascade Investment LLC, an entity through which he owns stakes in numerous businesses, including Four Seasons Hotels and Resorts, and Corbus Corporation 78, on February 4, 2014. Gates stepped down as chairman of Microsoft to become technology advisor at the firm, alongside CEO Satya Nadea. 1179. Gates provided his perspective on a range of issues in a substantial interview that was published in the March 27, 2014, issue of Rolling Stone magazine. In the interview, Gates provided his perspective on climate change, his charitable activities, various tech companies and people involved in them, and the state of America. In response to a question about his greatest fear when he looks 50 years into the future, Gates stated, there'll be some really bad things that'll happen in the next 50 or 100 years, but hopefully none of them on the scale of, say, a million people that you didn't expect to die from a pandemic, or nuclear or bioterrorism. Gates also identified innovation as the real driver of progress and pronounced that America's way better today than it's ever been. 80. Gates has expressed concern about the potential harms of superintelligence, in a Reddit Task Me Anything, he stated that. First the machines will do a lot of jobs for us and not be super intelligent. That should be positive if we manage it well. A few decades after that though the intelligence is strong enough to be a concern. I agree with Elon Musk and some others on this and don't understand why some people are not concerned. 81 82 83 84 In an interview that was held at the TED conference in March 2015, with Baidu's CEO, Robin Lee, Gates said he would highly recommend Nick Bostrom's recent work, Super Intelligence, Paths, Dangers strategies. 85. During the conference, Gates warned that the world was not prepared for the next pandemic, a situation that would come to pass in late 2019 when the COVID-19 pandemic began. 86. In March 2018, Gates met at his home in Seattle with Mohammed bin Salman, the reformist crown prince and de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia to discuss investment opportunities for Saudi Vision 2030. 8788. In June 2019, Gates admitted that losing the mobile operating system race to Android was his biggest mistake. He stated that it was within their skill set of being the dominant player, but partially blames the antitrust litigation during the time. 89. That same year, Gates became an advisory board member of the Bloomberg New Economy Forum. 90. On March 13, 2020, Microsoft announced Gates would be leaving his board positions at Berkshire Hathaway and Microsoft to dedicate his efforts in philanthropic endeavors such as climate change, global health and development, and education. 12. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Gates has widely been looked at by media outlets as an expert on the issue, despite him not being a public official or having any prior medical training. 91. His foundation did however, established the COVID-19 Therapeutics Accelerator in 2020 to hasten the development and evaluation of new and repurposed drugs and biologics to treat patients for COVID-19, 92, and, as of February 2021, Gates expressed that he and Anthony Fossey frequently talk and collaborate on matters including vaccines and other medical innovations to fight the pandemic. 93. Business Ventures and Investments, Partial List 
Gates has a multi-billion dollar investment portfolio with stake in various sectors 94, and has participated in several entrepreneurial ventures beyond Microsoft, including AutoNation, automotive retailer that Gates has a 16% stake in trading on the NYSE. 95. BGC3 LLC, a think tank and research company founded by Gates. 96. Canadian National Railway, CN, a Canadian Class I freight railway. As of 2019, Gates is the largest single shareholder of CN stock. 97. Cascade Investment LLC, a private investment and holding company incorporated in the United States, founded and controlled by Gates and headquartered in Kirkland, Washington. 98. Gates is the top private owner of farmland in the United States with land holdings owned via Cascade Investment totaling 242,000 acres across 19 states. 99100, he is the 49th largest private owner of land in the U.S. 101. Carbon Engineering, a for-profit venture founded by David Keith, which Gates helped fund. 102 103 104, it is also supported by Chevron Corporation and Occidental Petroleum. 105. Scopex, Keith's academic venture in Sundiming Geoengineering, which Gates provided most of the $12 million for. 106. Corbas, originally named Interactive Home Systems and now known as Branded Entertainment Network a digital image licensing and rights services company founded and chaired by Gates. 107. EarthNow, Seattle-based startup company aiming to blanket the Earth with live satellite video coverage. Gates is a large financial backer. 108. Eclipse Aviation, a defunct manufacturer of very light jets. Gates was a major stakeholder early on in the project. 109. Impossible Foods, a company that develops plant-based substitutes for meat products. Some of the $396 million Patrick O'Brown collected for his business came from Gates around 2014 to 2017. 110 111 112. Ecolab, global provider of water, hygiene and energy technologies and services to the food, energy, healthcare industrial and hospitality markets. Combined with the shares owned by the foundation, Gates owns 11.6% of the company. A shareholder agreement in 2012 allowed him to own up to 25% of the company, but this agreement was removed. 113. ResearchGate, a social networking site for scientists. Gates participated in a $35 million round of financing along with other investors. 114. Terra Power, a nuclear reactor design company co-founded and chaired by Gates, which is developing next-generation traveling wave reactor nuclear power plants in an effort to tackle climate change. 115 116 117 118 119 Breakthrough Energy Ventures, a closed fund for wealthy individuals who seek ROI on a 20-year horizon, see next section, which is funding green startups and a host of other low-carbon entrepreneurial projects, including everything from advanced nuclear technology to synthetic breast milk. It was founded by Gates in 2015. 120. Ginkgo Bioworks a biotech startup that received $350 million in venture funding in 2019, in part from Gates's investment firm Cascade Investment. 121. Luminous Computing, a company that develops neuromorphic photonic integrated circuits for AI acceleration. MoLogic, British diagnostic technology company that Gates purchased, along with the Soros Economic Development Fund which has developed 10-minute COVID lateral flow tests that it aims to make for as little as $1. 122. Climate Change and Energy Gates and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the COP26 Climate Summit in Glasgow in November 2021. Gates considers climate change and global access to energy to be critical, interrelated issues. 
he has urged governments and the private sector to invest in research and development to make clean, reliable energy cheaper. Gates envisions that a breakthrough innovation in sustainable energy technology could drive down both greenhouse gas emissions and poverty, and bring economic benefits by stabilizing energy prices. 123, in 2011, he said, if you gave me the choice between picking the next 10 presidents or ensuring that energy is environmentally friendly and a quarter as costly, I'd pick the energy thing. 124. In 2015, he wrote about the challenge of transitioning the world's energy system from one based primarily on fossil fuels to one based on sustainable energy sources. Global energy transitions have historically taken decades. He wrote, I believe we can make this transition faster, both because the pace of innovation is accelerating, and because we have never had such an urgent reason to move from one source of energy to another. 125. This rapid transition, according to Gates, would depend on increased government funding for basic research and financially risky private sector investment, to enable innovation in diverse areas such as nuclear energy, grid energy storage to facilitate greater use of solar and wind energy, and solar fuels. 126. The European Commission European Investment Bank and Gates Breakthrough Energy Catalyst agreed at the 2021 UN Climate Change Conference to work together to bring green technologies to market. Gates spearheaded two initiatives that he announced at the 2015 United Nations Climate Change Conference in Paris. One was Mission Innovation, in which 20 national governments pledged to double their spending on research and development for carbon-free energy in over five years' time. 123, another initiative was Breakthrough Energy, a group of investors who agreed to fund high-risk startups in clean energy technologies. Gates, who had already invested $1 billion of his own money in innovative energy startups, committed a further $1 billion to Breakthrough Energy. 126, in December 2020, he called for the U.S. federal government to create institutes for clean energy research analogous to the National Institutes of Health. 127, Gates has also urged rich nations to shift to 100% synthetic beef industries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from food production. 128. Gates has been criticized for holding a large stake in Signature Aviation, a company that services emissions-intensive private jets. 129, in 2019 he began to divest from fossil fuels. He does not expect divestment itself to have much practical impact, but says that if his efforts to provide alternatives were to fail, he would not want to personally benefit from an increase in fossil fuel stock prices. 130, after he published his book How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, parts of the climate activist community criticized Gates' approach as technological solutionism. 131. In June 2021, Gates's company Terra Power and Warren Buffett's Pacific Corp announced the first sodium nuclear reactor in Wyoming. Wyoming Governor Mike Gordon hailed the project as a step toward carbon-negative nuclear power. Wyoming Senator John Barroso also said that it could boost the state's once active uranium mining industry. 132. Gates spent many efforts to make pass the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 because of his importance to climate. He tried to convince Joe Manchin to support a climate bill from the year 2019 and especially in the months before the adoption of the bill. The bill should cut the global greenhouse gas emissions in a level similar to eliminating the annual planet warming pollution of France and Germany combined and may help to limit the warming of the planet to 1.5 degrees, the target of the Paris Agreement. 133, he thanked both Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer for their efforts in a guest essay in the New York Times where he said Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 may be the single most important piece of climate legislation in American history given its potential to spur development of new technologies. 134. Political Positions Regulation of the Software Industry See also, 
Bill Gates Section Antitrust Litigation, and United States v. Microsoft Corporation. In 1998, Gates rejected the need for regulation of the software industry in testimony before the United States Senate. 135, during the Federal Trade Commission's, FTC, investigation of Microsoft in the 1990s, Gates was reportedly upset at Commissioner Dennis Yao for floating, a line of hypothetical questions suggesting possible curbs on Microsoft's growing monopoly power. According to one source, Gates was vexed. He started by calling Yao's ideas socialistic, recalls a source familiar with the July 15 meeting, and as he got angrier and angrier and louder and louder, he got into calling them communistic. 136. Donald Trump Facebook Ban On February 18, 2021, after Facebook and Twitter had banned Donald Trump from their platforms as a result of the 2020 United States presidential election which led to the January 6 United States Capitol attack, Gates said a permanent ban of Trump would be a shame and would be an extreme measure. He warned that it would cause polarization if users with different political views divide up among various social networks, and said, I don't think banning somebody who actually did get a fair number of votes, in the presidential election, well less than a majority, but I don't think having him off forever would be that good. 135. Patents for COVID-19 Vaccines Main article, Waiver from Certain Provisions of the TRIPS Agreement for the Prevention, Containment and Treatment of COVID-19 In April 2021, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Gates was criticized for suggesting that pharmaceutical companies should hold onto patents for COVID-19 vaccines. The criticism came due to the possibility of this preventing poorer nations from obtaining adequate vaccines. Tara Van Ho of the University of Essex stated, Gates speaks as if all the lives being lost in India are inevitable but eventually the West will help when in reality the US and UK are holding their feet on the neck of developing states by refusing to break, intellectual property rights, protections. It's disgusting. 137. Gates is opposed to the TRIPS waiver. 138 139 140. Bloomberg News reported him as saying he argued that Oxford University should not give away the rights to its COVID-19 information, as it had announced, but instead sell it to a single industry partner, as it did. 141. His views on the value of legal monopolies in medicine have been linked to his views on legal monopolies in software. 139-140. Cryptocurrencies. Gates is critical of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. According to Gates, cryptocurrencies provide no valuable output, contribute nothing to society, and pose a danger especially for smaller investors who couldn't survive the potentially high losses. Gates also doesn't own any cryptocurrencies himself. 142. Philanthropy. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Main article. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Gates with Bono, Queen Rania of Jordan, former British Prime Minister Gordon Brown, President Hama Aruyarajwa of Nigeria and others during the annual meeting 2008 of the World Economic Forum. Gates studied the work of Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller, and donated some of his Microsoft stock in 1994 to create the William H. Gates Foundation. In 2000, Gates and his wife combined three family foundations and Gates donated stock valued at $5 billion to create the charitable Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which was identified by the Funds for NGOs Company in 2013, as the world's wealthiest charitable foundation, with assets reportedly valued at more than $34.6 billion. 143-144 the foundation allows benefactors to access information that shows how its money is being spent, unlike other major charitable organizations such as the Wellcome Trust. 145-146, Gates, through his foundation, 
also donated $20 million to Carnegie Mellon University for a new building to be named Gates Center for Computer Science which opened in 2009. 147-148 Gates has credited the generosity and extensive philanthropy of David Rockefeller as a major influence. Gates and his father met with Rockefeller several times, and their charity work is partly modeled on the Rockefeller family's philanthropic focus, whereby they are interested in tackling the global problems that are ignored by governments and other organizations. 149 As of 2007, Bill and Melinda Gates were the second most generous philanthropists in America, having given over $28 billion to charity. 150, the couple planned to eventually donate 95% of their wealth to charity. 151. The foundation is organized into five program areas, Global Development Division, Global Health Division, United States Division, and Global Policy and Advocacy Division. Among others, it supports a wide range of public health projects, granting aid to fight transmissible diseases such as AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria, as well as widespread vaccine programs to eradicate polio. It grants funds to learning institutes and libraries and supports scholarships at universities. The foundation established a water sanitation and hygiene program to provide sustainable sanitation services in poor countries. 152, its agriculture division supports the International Rice Research Institute in developing golden rice, a genetically modified rice variant used to combat vitamin A deficiency. 153, the goal of the foundation is to provide 120 million women and girls, in the poorest countries, with high-quality contraceptive information and services, with the longer-term goal of universal access to voluntary family planning. 154, in 2007, the Los Angeles Times criticized the foundation for investing its assets in companies that have been accused of worsening poverty, pollution and pharmaceutical firms that do not sell to developing countries. 155. Although the foundation announced a review of its investments to assess social responsibility, 156, it was subsequently cancelled and upheld its policy of investing for maximum return, while using voting rights to influence company practices. 157. Gates in a fireside chat moderated by Shreen Ban virtually at the Singapore FinTech Festival 2020. Gates delivered his thoughts in a fireside chat moderated by journalist and news anchor Shreen Ban virtually at the Singapore FinTech Festival on December 8, 2020, on the topic, Building Infrastructure for Resilience, What the COVID-19 Response Can Teach Us About How to Scale Financial Inclusion. 158. Governments are there to think ahead to bad things that might happen. In the case of, the COVID-19, pandemic? Not enough was done. We can't forget that another pandemic will come and we'll need to invest in being ready in that, while not forgetting that we were not prepared and we're going to have to invest, just like having a fire department, some money in an intelligent way and actually simulate what might happen and make sure that we're ready for it. 158. Gates favors the normalization of COVID-19 masks. In a November 2020 interview, he said, what are these, like, nudists? I mean, you know, we ask you to wear pants, and no American says, or very few Americans say, that that's, like, some terrible thing. 159. Personal Donations Melinda Gates suggested that people should emulate the philanthropic efforts of the Salwin family, who sold their home and gave away half of its value, as detailed in their book, The Power of Half. 160, Gates and his wife invited Joan Salwin to Seattle to speak about what the family had done, and on December 9, 2010, Bill and Melinda Gates and investor Warren Buffett each signed a commitment they called the Giving Pledge, which is a commitment by all three to donate at least half of their wealth, over the course of time, to charity. 161 162 163 Gates has also provided personal donations to educational institutions. In 1999, 
Gates donated $20 million to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology for the construction of a computer laboratory named the William H. Gates Building that was designed by architect Frank Gehry. While Microsoft had previously given financial support to the institution, this was the first personal donation received from Gates. 164. The Maxwell Dworkin Laboratory of the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences is named after the mothers of both Gates and Microsoft President Stephen A. Balmer, both of whom were students. Balmer was a member of the school's graduating class of 1977, while Gates left his studies for Microsoft, and donated funds for the laboratory's construction. 165. Gates also donated $6 million to the construction of the Gates Computer Science Building, completed in January 1996, on the campus of Stanford University. The building contains the Computer Science Department and the Computer Systems Laboratory, CSL, of Stanford's Engineering Department. 166. Since 2005, Gates and his foundation have taken an interest in solving global sanitation problems. For example, they announced the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge, which has received considerable media interest. 167. To raise awareness for the Tropic of Sanitation and possible solutions, Gates drank water that was produced from human feces in 2014. It was produced from a sewage sludge treatment process called the Omni Processor. 168-169, in early 2015, he also appeared with Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show and challenged him to see if he could taste the difference between this reclaimed water or bottled water. 170. In November 2017, Gates said he would give $50 million to the Dementia Discovery Fund, a venture capital fund that seeks treatment for Alzheimer's disease. He also pledged an additional $50 million to startup ventures working in Alzheimer's research. 171, Bill and Melinda Gates have said that they intend to leave their three children $10 million each as their inheritance. With only $30 million kept in the family, they are expected to give away about 99.96% of their wealth. 172, on August 25, 2018, Gates distributed $600,000 through his foundation via UNICEF which is helping flood-affected victims in Kerala, India. 173. In June 2018, Bill Gates offered free e-books, to all new graduates of U.S. colleges and universities, 174, and in 2021, offered free e-books, to all college and university students around the world. 175-176, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation partially funds OpenStax, which creates and provides free digital textbooks. 177. Charity Sports Events On April 29, 2017, Gates partnered with Swiss tennis legend Roger Federer in playing in the match for Africa 4, a non-competitive tennis match at a sold-out key arena in Seattle. The event was in support of the Roger Federer Foundation's charity efforts in Africa. 178, Federer and Gates played against John Isnor, the top-ranked American player for much of this decade, and Mike McCready, the lead guitarist for Pearl Jam. The pair won the match six games to four. Overall, they raised $2 million for children in Africa. 179, the following year. Gates and Federer returned to play in the match for Africa 5 on March 5, 2018, at San Jose SAP Center. Their opponents were Jack Sock, one of the top American players and a Grand Slam winner in doubles, and Savannah Guthrie, a co-anchor for NBC's Today Show. Gates and Federer recorded their second match victory together by a score of 6-3 and the event raised over $2.5 million. 180 books. Gates has written four books. The Road Ahead, written with Microsoft executive Nathan Mirvold and journalist Peter Ryerson, was published in November 1995. 
It summarized the implications of the personal computing revolution and described a future profoundly changed by the arrival of a global information superhighway. Business at the Speed of Thought was published in 1999, and discusses how business and technology are integrated, and shows how digital infrastructures and information networks can help to get an edge on the competition. How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, February 2021 presents what Gates learned in over a decade of studying climate change and investing in innovations to address climate problems. 181. How to Prevent the Next Pandemic, April 2022, details the COVID-19 pandemic and proposes a global epidemic response and mobilization, GERM, team with annual funding of $1 billion. 182. Under the auspices of the WHO. 183. Personal Life Gates is an avid reader, 184, and the ceiling of his large home library is engraved with a quotation from The Great Gatsby. 185. He also enjoys bridge, tennis and golf. 186-187. His days are planned for him on a minute-by-minute -minute basis, similarly to the U.S. President's schedule. 188. Despite his wealth and extensive business travel, Gates flew coach, economy class, in commercial aircraft until 1997, when he bought a private jet. 189. Gates purchased the Codex Lester, a collection of scientific writings by Leonardo da Vinci, for 30.8 million US dollars at an auction in 1994. 190. In 1998, he reportedly paid $30 million for the original 1885 maritime painting lost on the Grand Banks, at the time a record price for an American painting. 191. In 2016, he revealed that he was colorblind. 192. On May 10, 2022, Gates said that he tested positive for COVID-19 and was experiencing mild symptoms. 193, Gates has received three doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. 193. Marriage and Divorce Gates and Melinda, 2009 Gates married Melinda French on the Hawaiian island of Lanai on January 1, 1994. 194, they met in 1987 after Melinda began working at Microsoft. 195, at the time of their marriage, Gates was given permission by Melinda to spend limited time with his ex-girlfriend, businesswoman Ann Winblad. 196, Bill and Melinda have three children, Jennifer, Rory, and Phoebe. 197, the family's residence is an earth-sheltered mansion in the side of a hill overlooking Lake Washington in Medina, Washington. In 2009, Property taxes on the mansion were reported to be 1.063 million US dollars, on a total assessed value of 147.5 million US dollars. 198, the 66,000 square foot, 6,100 square meters, estate has a 60 foot, 18 meters, swimming pool with an underwater music system, as well as a 2,500 square foot. 230 square meters, gym and a 1,000 square foot, 93 square meters, dining room. 199. On May 3, 2021, the Gatesses announced they had decided to divorce after 27 years of marriage and 34 years as a couple. 200. They said they would keep working together on charitable efforts. 200-201. The Wall Street Journal reported that Melinda had been meeting with divorce attorneys since 2019, citing interviews that suggested Bill's ties with Jeffrey Epstein was at least one of her concerns. 202. The divorce was finalized on August 2, 2021. 203. Public Image Gates meets with U.S. Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis, February 2017. Gates's public image has changed over the years. At first he was perceived as a brilliant but ruthless robber baron, a nerd-turned-tycoon. 204, 
starting in 2000 with the foundation of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and particularly after he stepped down as head of Microsoft, he turned his attention to philanthropy, spending more than $50 billion on causes like health, poverty, and education. His image morphed from tyrannical technocrat to saintly savior to a huggable billionaire techno-philanthropist, celebrated on magazine covers and sought after for his opinions on major issues like global health and climate change. 204 Still another shift in public opinion came in 2021 with the announcement that he and Melinda were divorcing. Coverage of that proceeding brought out information about romantic pursuits of women who worked for him, a long-term extramarital affair, and a friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. 205 this information and his response to the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in some deterioration of his public image, going from a lovable nerd who is out to save the world to a tech supervillain who wants to protect profits over public health. 206. Investigative journalist Tim Schwab has accused Gates of using his contributions to the media to shape their coverage of him in order to protect his public image. 91-207. In September 2022, Politico published an expose critical of NGO leadership at the helm of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic response, written in cooperation with the German newspaper Welt. Criticisms included the interconnectivity of the nonprofits with Gates, as well as his personal lack of formal credentials in medicine. 208. Gates and the projects of his foundation have been the subject of many conspiracy theories that proliferate on Facebook and elsewhere. He has been implausibly accused of attempting to depopulate the world, distributing harmful or unethical vaccines, and implanting people with privacy-violating microchips. These largely unfounded theories reached a new level of influence during the COVID-19 pandemic when, according to New York Times journalist Rory Smith, the uncertainties of pandemic life drove people to seek explanations from the Internet. 209-210, when asked about the theories, Gates has remarked that some people are tempted by the simple explanation that an evil person rather than biological factors are to blame, and that he does not know for what purpose anyone believes he would want to track them with microchips. 211-212. Religion. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Gates said in regard to his faith, the moral systems of religion, I think, are super important. We've raised our kids in a religious way, they've gone to the Catholic Church that Melinda goes to and I participate in. I've been very lucky, and therefore I owe it to try and reduce the inequity in the world. And that's kind of a religious belief. I mean, it's at least a moral belief. 213 in the same 2014 interview he also said, I agree with people like Richard Dawkins that mankind felt the need for creation myths. Before we really began to understand disease and the weather and things like that, we sought false explanations for them. Now science has filled in some of the realm, not all, that religion used to fill. But the mystery and the beauty of the world is overwhelmingly amazing, and there's no scientific explanation of how it came about. To say that it was generated by random numbers, that does seem, you know, sort of an uncharitable view, laughs. I think it makes sense to believe in God, but exactly what decision in your life you make differently because of it, I don't know. 213. Wealth Tallies In 1999, his wealth briefly surpassed 101 billion US dollars. 214-189 since 2000, the nominal value of his Microsoft holdings has declined due to a fall in Microsoft's stock price after the dot-com bubble burst and the multi-billion dollar donations he has made to his charitable foundations. In May 2006, Gates remarked that he wished that he were not the richest man in the world because he disliked the attention it brought. 215, in March 2010, Gates was the second wealthiest person after Carlos Slim, but regained the top position in 2013, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires List. 216-217, Slim retook the position again in June 2014-218-219, 
but then lost the top position back to Gates. Between 2009 and 2014, his wealth doubled from 40 billion US dollars to more than 82 billion US dollars. 220 In October 2017, Gates was surpassed by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos as the richest person in the world. 16 On November 15, 2019, he once again became the richest person in the world after a 48% increase in Microsoft shares, surpassing Bezos. 221, Gates told the BBC, I've paid more tax than any individual ever, and gladly so, I've paid over $6 billion in taxes. 222, he is a proponent of higher taxes, particularly for the rich. 223, by 2017, Gates had held the top spot on the list of the world's billionaires for 18 out of the previous 23 years. 224, Gates has several investments outside Microsoft, which in 2006 paid him a salary of $616,667 US dollars and $350,000 US dollars bonus totaling $966,667 US dollars. 225, in 1989, he founded Corbus, a digital imaging company. In 2004, he became a director of Berkshire Hathaway, the investment company headed by longtime friend Warren Buffett. 226. In 1987, Gates, 